Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Brandon Johnson from Used Boats TV. Today, we're gonna show you how to wet sand small, fine scratches out of the gel coat on your boat. Let's get started. What it really means to live life golden. Quick disclaimer on the throne here real quick. I am obviously not a professional gel coat fixer dude. The purpose of this playlist is to simply share some quick tips and tricks I've learned after 19 years of selling boats. So do me a favor while you're checking this out, please consider subscribing by clicking down below. Wet sanding out fine scratches is just that, fine scratches. Basically, if it stops your fingernail, you should maybe consider going to a professional and adding gel coat. But if it doesn't stop your fingernail, there's no reason why you can't wet sand the scratches out of your boat, polish it, and have a real nice looking finish. There's a few things we're gonna need to gather to accomplish this. Number one, some 2000 grit sandpaper, wet or dry, and some 800 grit sandpaper, wet or dry, alongside a spray bottle full of water, and one little squirt of Dawn dish soap. A couple clean microfiber cloth towels, some buffing compound, and you can either use a high speed buffer or you can do it by hand. Now that we have our materials, let's get started. So as you can see right here, we got a couple fine scratches we're gonna use for this example. So the first thing you wanna do is get our 800 grit sandpaper and our spray bottle. While you're sanding, you wanna keep this nice and wet. So just go ahead and spray it and sand. Spray as you sand. Keep a good eye on the area that you're actually repairing so that you don't go too deep into the gel coat. Now, once you feel like your repair is nice and smooth, you'll go ahead and grab one of your two towels that we started the project with and clean that off. Once you've cleaned that off, now we're gonna use our finishing sandpaper, which is a real soft grit, uh, 2000 grit. We're gonna wet sand that out to get a nice looking finish. Once again, remember to keep it nice and wet. And you're just going to do this until you feel like your area is nice and smooth, meaning the sandpaper doesn't stop as you're sliding. Once it feels like it's nice and smooth, you're going to go ahead and wipe that area dry again. And as you can see here, what we've did is we've made that little scratch area nice and smooth. So what we also did though, is we sanded off all the wax. So we want to seal that area back in since we basically took a millionth of a millimeter of gel coat off that spot. This is the part where you can finish your area that you've just wet sanded by hand or with a high speed buffer. Uh, what I like to do is get a little sponge here and put a nice compound, like a 3M uh, Restore and Polish, and I like to go ahead and rub it in by hand. Now once that wax is set up, you can go ahead and wipe it all off. That's good enough for a hand buff, but what I'm gonna do is use a high-speed buffer and take all that wax right off. Once you're all done, that area looks a lot better. Once again, my name is Brandon. Thanks for checking this out. If I provide you any value, please consider subscribing and I'll see you on the water. So again, today we're gonna wet sand some fine. Plug the water in first, Brandon. Models popping bottles.